One of you asked me, how can you guide me into learning Italian? Even if I don't teach Italian, and I, but I do speak it, here are some keys to learn pretty much any language. In case you don't know me, Rochelle DeMeo from Belter Academy. If you're learning new language, whether you're learning it through a class, whether you're learning it through a book or by your own, what you want to do is focus on what is used the most. So focus on the words that are used the most and the sentences that are going to come up in everyday conversation. You want to focus on learning the verbs, and I know that sounds really daunting, conjugating the verbs, but you want to focus on the most used verbs. You can focus on the first three that will get you by mostly anywhere. That's what I did for Spanish, and I don't even really speak it. Um, and then little by little, go through them in the order in which they're the most used. Then what you really want to focus on are words that are going to apply to your own life, whether it has to do with your job, your family situation, where you live, your studies, your hobbies, and your pastimes, and anything that you believe is important to you. For instance, maybe you're really passionate about politics or the environment. Well, you want to learn words that pertain to that. So focus on that. Obviously, take it in class from an instructor that knows what they're doing, that knows the subject, but also that knows how to teach is very important. So you do want to take a class and learn little by little, but focus on those things first. And then a couple of keys that are very vital in any type of language learning is to be able to use the language to just be able to use it all the time, talking to others in your daily life and submerge yourself as much as possible in the language. I teach my students how to do this and provide them with the resources at Belter Academy so that they can do that in French. You can do it in any language that you are learning. And finally, which is the most important key that I want to share, and before I share it, make sure you give me a thumbs up because you've gotten a lot out of this video so far. And subscribe to the channel to be notified of my next upcoming video. The last key that I would say is probably one of the most important keys is training your brain to think in the language. You can do that. So start by just thinking of how you would say something in that language. Even if you get it wrong, even if you don't know, it's okay. And little by little, you're going to train your brain to really think in that language. Knowing who you are personally is very important. So as a student, you do want to take in consideration your learning style. You can watch this video if you want to learn more about it. And you want to take in consideration your personality types, habits you have, etc. And if you are interested in learning French on your own, you can definitely use one of these two textbooks depending on your level of French, whether you're a beginner intermediate or you're intermediate and more advanced, so that you can practice and get all these resources and just take this book with you. I also have online courses that you can take at your own pace at Belter Academy if you're interested in learning French. What would you like to learn? What may I help you learn in terms of language acquisition. Comment below and that may be the next video for you. This video is dedicated to Katerina and um, I'd be delighted to do a video for you as well. A bientôt tout le monde.